In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the process of how to create your own custom brushes. The brush I'm going to make is something that I would use for the backgrounds of my paintings or if I want to add some texture in. I'm just going to start off with the new canvas and I'm just putting down some random strokes. I'm just trying to find something that doesn't repeat too much. It can be hard trying to come up with something that's intentionally random and chaotic without it looking like you actually plan to do this on purpose. This is pretty decent for a first pass, so I can go ahead and just select the area that I want to make as the brush and then hit edit to find brush preset. And you just name your brush and hit enter. And that will actually create your new brush and it should be in your brush menu. So I'm just going to make a new page so I can test out the brush. And if you right click while you're on the brushes, it should be on the very end. So right now you can see that the brush looks pretty bad. It's pretty obvious that the pattern repeats too much. So in order to change it, you just want to click on the brush control palette, which should be on the toolbar at the top. It looks kind of like a menu with a tab, but if you can't find it, you can just click on window and then click on brushes. I think for PC, the shortcut is also F5. The first option I'm going to click on is shape dynamics, and that will control the angle and the size jitter of your brush. So you want to just kind of play around with these little sliders so you can see what it actually does to your brush. The next option I'm going to select is scattering and this will control the scattering of your brush as well as how dense it scatters. And finally, I'm going to click on other dynamics so that I can get some opacity in my brush. This way I can take advantage of the pressure sensitivity of my tablet so that I can go from light to dark. This isn't too bad, but there are some parts on the edge of the brush that look like they repeat a little bit too much. Plus, I don't really like the lines that are going through the dark part of the brush. Another option you can click on is texture and that will actually add a texture overlay onto your brush so you can kind of select through these little presets that they have. I usually don't really use this very much though. I'm going to go back to a blank canvas and fix my brush so that it doesn't repeat so much on the edges. So I'm just going to kind of paint these out a little more so there's less contrast. And I'm also going to erase some of the little floating pieces because those are the parts that will make it pretty obvious that it repeats. I'm going to see how this looks. So I'm going to select it and go to Define Brush Preset. Name your brush. and it should be at the very end of your brush menu. So now that I made a new brush, it's going to look like it repeats too much again, so you're going to have to go back to your brush control menu and select those three things that I usually use, shape dynamics, scattering, and other dynamics. This isn't too bad, but it still looks like it repeats a lot around the edges. I'm just going back and trying to fix some of the values a little bit, see if that helps any. It's not too bad right now, but it just doesn't really have that feel that I'm looking for. After you get something that you're fairly happy with, you're going to have to save your brush. So just make sure your brush is selected and right click anywhere on the canvas and your brush menu will come up. And then you go over here and click on this little icon that looks like a piece of paper with the corner turned up. And your new brush will appear at the end of the list. I'm not sure if I liked the previous brush better. And I actually forgot to save the first brush I made so I need to go back and click those settings on again.
For the final part of the tutorial, I'm going to add a photo overlay to the brush just so that it gives it a little more added texture. This is a picture that I took myself, and I'm just going to hit Command U and bring the saturation down to zero. And I'm going to resize it so that it's a little smaller. And I'm going to hit Command A to select all and Command V to paste on top of my brush. Then I'm going to set the layer properties to overlay and size that down a little bit. I want to add a little more contrast, so I'm going to hit Command L to bring up the levels, and I'm going to make it a little brighter and darker, a little more contrasty. Hit OK, and flip back and forth so you can see kind of what it did to the brush. Actually, before I make the brush, I'm going to go back and take out these little edges because those are the parts that are going to make it look like it repeats. That's pretty good. So select and then go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. And the brush is always going to look bad when you first start, so you're going to have to go to the brush controls and click these options again. That actually still looks pretty bad, so I need to go back and play around with these sliders a little bit. I think I need some more size and angle jitter so that it looks a little more random. I also need to increase the scattering count just so that the brush is a little more dense. If you click on the brush tip shape, you can change the spacing of the brush. Yeah, that looks a lot better now. Another cool option in the brush tip shape is that you can actually rotate the brush. When you have an organic brush like this, it's kind of hard to tell, but if you have some kind of rectangular brush, you can really tell when you rotate it. It's a good way to get different angles in your brush, especially if you want to take a more painterly approach and paint in the different planes of an object. Don't forget to save your brush at the end. And that's how you make custom brushes. Thanks.